One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. I don't want to be the boss. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30, King James Version. With great power comes great responsibility is a popular saying that goes hand in hand with the other popular saying being, be careful what you ask for. I have been guilty as others of being overly ambitious and taking on more responsibility than I could handle. It is not easy managing people if you ever had to do it. You have to reward their triumphant moments. You must teach them. You must forgive them when they are wrong. You must do performance evaluations for them at their appointed time. You must pay them. You must pay their taxes to the government. You must provide benefits such as health care, vision, retirement, etc. in the American employment sector. You must approve or deny time off requests. You must approve pay raises. You must lay off employees when times are slow. You must plan the operations of the business. You must hire people. You must fire people. The list of responsibilities goes on and on, especially when you were a small business owner like I was 20 years ago. I can only imagine what the responsibilities would be like when you have all power like Jesus in the world today. There is no human being on the planet that could handle the power and responsibilities that he has. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. We are not morally sound enough to judge the affairs of every person on the planet. We are not intelligent enough to create life. We do not have the resources to provide for the physical needs of all mankind. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to verse 3. And we certainly do not have the intelligence, knowledge, or wisdom to guide a people to salvation and its resultant heavenly glory. John chapter 14, verse 1 to verse 2 and verse 6. So it is best to submit to the authority of Jesus Christ by humbling ourselves to him. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. He is in charge of heaven and earth. Let's bow down to him for daily guidance and eternal salvation. We cannot provide these things on our own. We are ill-equipped for the job. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.